Hey guys, this is Lori with the Hen and Her Chicks, and I just wanted to show you guys what I did last night. Um, actually, the plan got changed. I was going to soap uh, a fragrance oil called Forbidden Fruit, and I always, um, if I haven't tried a fragrance oil before, I always add, I just put a little bit of my soap batch in a cup and just add a little bit of the fragrance oil and just give it, you know, a stir, just, you know, let it sit for just a second or two and just to see what it's going to, how it's going to perform in my soap. And uh, if you don't do that, you know, <laughs> to me, you take a big chance on ruining your soap batch if you haven't used uh, a particular fragrance oil before. So that's a good thing to do is just to test it in a little bit of your soap because what happened was that fragrance oil it didn't take it but maybe just a just a few seconds and my my the little bit of soap that I added it to was completely hard I could not um, I could hardly get it out of the cup there's no way I could pour it so I had to think fast and think of um, just a different plan I used um, another fragrance oil called almond and it smells so delicious my house smelled so good after <laughs> I made this soap. My husband came home and he was like, what smells so good in here? Um, seriously, this has my whole house smelling good. This is like a cherry, a cherry explosion. And um, I'll definitely buy this fragrance oil again. I'd like to do it in some cupcakes because I didn't do any cupcakes with this batch. So... Um, I'll definitely order some more of this and I just love it. So anyway, um, I just did the base like a, a really light pink color and it has purple and white swirls, um, it has purple and white on top and um, glitter and it has some hot pink um, glitter on top of it as well. And I got a few little samples out of one of the bars that's just too little on the end to, to sell as a complete bar. So I'll have some samples of that. And I'm really happy with the way they turned out. I love to do swirls. Um, I love to see what each one, each one is going to look a little bit different. Um, and that's just the fun part of, of uh, doing swirls. So if you haven't tried swirls, you should definitely give it a shot and um, it's just a lot of fun and I half the a little bit well not half the batch just a little bit of the batch I hot processed it and um, just colored it the, the same pink as the base on the other one and I love pink it's my favorite color I added a little bit of um, raspberry seeds to this one and I just love the way I love the way those raspberry seeds look on the inside just really really pretty so I got about four um, small smaller bars out of that and um, let's see I was gonna show a couple other things this is a batch that I did the other day I made a little a little bear for me and, and uh, my girls I'll probably cut it in half and give them half of it and also made some um, let's see I made some bath bombs I made a couple of different batches I made a um, key lime pie and I also made um, let's see it was a strawberry strawberry champagne type and uh, I love all the I love all the champagne fragrance oils uh, they're just really, really nice. They're just a, a fizzy um, fragrance, maybe with like a little bit of a fruit fragrance in there. And um, with the leftover batch that I didn't have enough to make a complete bath bomb, I make. I usually try to make a few of these little hearts. Uh, they just they're good samples. And um, when I have an order or something, uh, I'll just stick one in there. And um, I make my bath bombs with a um, cocoa butter. And these have cocoa butter, they have kale and clay, um, they have bath salts. Every once in a while I'll add like a, a milk powder to this recipe and that turns out really nice. And um, let's see, I think that's, 
I think that's all I was going to show this morning. But um, I'm just trying to get ready and get get some get some soap made. I may do another batch today. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I still have an apple cinnamon uh, fragrance oil to do, but I haven't decided if really what I want to do with it. It's kind of a kind of a wintry smell, so I don't know. I may wait on that one. I'm not sure yet. That's the fun part about soaping is just thinking up what your next what your next soap you know what you want it to look like and um so anyway thank you guys for watching i hope you guys are having a great day out there today talk to you later